Falcon Falcon Punch! Hey guys, I'm Phil LeBlanks and welcome to Let's Play something. It's Capcom related. You don't know what it is yet. Of course you do. It's Mega Man 4. Um, for one of my first Let's Plays, um, I did Mega Man The Wily Wars, which was Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I really felt it was, uh, it'd be fun to kind of go back and, uh, do the rest of the Mega Man, well, maybe not the rest, but 4, 5, and 6, which was what this, like, kind of, um, large Let's Play is. It's 4, 5, and 6 on the original NES, um, which is great. Such good games. Very underlooked compared to the original 1, 2, and 3, which is considered the classics. But I really find 4, 5, and 6 are just as good. Uh, if not better in a lot of ways. One of which is the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm never sure how loud to put my TV on for this damn thing. Because I don't record direct audio for these Let's Plays. I don't know why. It just doesn't want to work. So what you hear in the audio for the game is actually what I'm hearing. It's just a lot louder. Um, and I, what I like about Mega Man 4 is it brought a lot of a lot of firsts and one of which is how um the story of how Mega Man became Mega Man um the Capcom has retconned this and like Mega Man's actual name is Rock uh and then he becomes Mega Man and blah 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 uh and this is also the first game where you have the Mega Buster which is now a staple of the series even though it's it wasn't in the in the ones that everyone likes and remembers and it wasn't in Mega Man 9 I don't think it was in Mega Man 10 either um, so anyways, this is Mega Man, he's all angry. Urgh. Dr. Cossack, a mysterious scientist, has invited a powerful robots. <gasps> well, what about Wily? Oh right, Wily died at the end of Mega Man 3. If you don't remember that, watch my Mega Man 3 Let's Play. There's no reason not to, you got nothing else to do, you're watching this. So anyways, he's now equipped with a powerful new Mega Buster, which is just him, you know, charging up his beam, but it really makes a difference. Um, so this is Mega Man 4 for the NES. Great opening music. Love it. Just gonna leave it on for just a little bit because I like it so much. Ah, it's nice. Right here. Ah, yes. That's good. Alright, enough of that. So, we got eight new themed robots to attack. We got Ring Man, Dive Man, Skull Man, Bright Man, Dust Man, Drill Man, Toad Man, Pharaoh Man. Great. So I'm going to do it in the regular order that I usually do it. I think this is the order that everyone does it. We're starting with the easiest and perhaps dumbest of most of the uh, early Mega Man uh, enemies. And that is friggin' Toad Man. Oh, Toad Man. You are terrible and kind of stupid. But he's very easy and his stage is actually harder than he is by far. So we're going to tackle him first. Great graphics. Look at that. Oh, I know I didn't play the actual Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 on the NES, but this is a huge improvement in graphics. Um, they also changed things like the sound effects for hitting things are slightly different, I think. The feel is slightly different, too. Sliding feels great, powering up feels great, but that noise does kind of get crazy, so I'm going to try not to power up too much unless I'm going for something specific. Toad Man's level has that rain and that wind, and it doesn't no you don't notice it when you're on the ground, but when you jump, it pushes you back a little bit, so be very careful here. A lot of people get game over at this section, you know, if it's the first time playing it. Ow. But that's okay, just jump near the edge. And of course, Mega Man has such smooth controls that if you die, it's your own damn fault and no one else's. So now we go, we're out of the rain. And into the... Well, more water, I guess. I do love how they, like, let's make robot mice and a robot weird-ass jellyfish. And everyone's like, alright, yeah, sure, that sounds, that sounds like a great idea. Um, the waterfalls push you and that kind of thing. Really interesting. Ow, you asshole. Well, I got a life out of it, so good for me. There we go. I really like Mega Man 4, 5, and 6. I've said it before. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've said it before on the show. 5 is my favorite, and we'll go to that, uh, get to that when I get there. But here is a giant snail. Power off your thing, and make sure to hit those eyes. Oh, uh, or miss like I am. Pretty easy. Um, sometimes it'll actually shoot his eyes to you. Uh, they're like that, exactly. Easy enough, though. The early Mega Man's always had, like, that, like, one, like, mini-boss thing that is huge and doesn't move very much. Um, Mega Man 1 really didn't have that. Mega Man 2 had the, um, I think they were hot dogs, what they were called. Number 3 had those cats. Number 4 has... These great snails, and they look awesome, don't they? Like, the really great anime style of shading, which is perfect for the NES's limited palette. Really great. I really love the way the next three Mega Man games look. Um, so much more appealing than Mega Man 7. Ah, that's no fun. 
I got an eyeball in my eyeball. There we go. I think that's it for them. Um, Rush Marine comes back from England 3 in this. Oh, we can use it here if we wanted to. Or I can just get hit by fish. What apparently I am doing... Oh, whoa, nice. There we go. Well, they only take one hit, so... Boink. Come on, give me some health. I think that's it. I think we're at... Yeah, we're at Toad Man. Toad Man is so damn easy. His weakness is the uh, Drill Man's weapon. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Literally, this is just weird. He jumps, and then he'll shake his butt a bit. And when he shakes his butt... He's using his uh, attack, which is a full screen attack. It's very powerful. It, but if you hit him, he just keeps jumping. This is literally it. Like, anyone who's watched me and Ellie Setta Rain play Smash Brothers knows, like, like, Ellie Setta can beat this boss. That's bad. Sorry, baby, but that's bad. Look at this. Look at this. This is crappy. Dr. Cossack. Toad Man is awful. He's awful. He's, oh, he's bad. You should feel bad. And guess what? Now he's... Oh, there. Now he's dead. Awful. Stupid idea. We're only six minutes in. And we take care of the dumbest enemy in the game. That's fine. Let's get our ability, which is actually not that bad of an ability. It's a full screen move, which is cool. I'm pretty sure a first for Mega Man. And that is... Rain Flush. Which doesn't sound that great. But it is. It is very great. And it makes you green. And apparently I also get a rush something. Oh, he's so cute. I got Rush Marine. Oh, so I wouldn't have had much Rush Marine there anyways. Rush Marine works exactly like it does in Stage Select. In uh, Mega Man 3, but when we get it, Rush Jet is completely different. Let's go on a Bright Man stage. Bright Man stage, I love this music. It's very fun. Yeah, it's very fun. Um, I'm pretty sure I start with Rush Coil. Love this song. Great. Alright, let's go into our menu. And this is the first full screen menu in the series. We have Rush Coil. I'm pretty sure it's just the same as Man 3. Yes, it is. Alright, let's continue on. Woo! So if you hit those guys, it goes light. You hit those guys, you get fireworks, it goes light. Or, sorry, it goes dark and then it goes light. Fun uh, fun level mechanic. It doesn't really enter the stage all that much. Oh, but you want to kill those guys because they shoot those things. Which forces you to go in the dark areas. Interesting. It also has these weird totem things and um, Grasshopper. I don't know how that has anything to do with Bright Man's theme. Maybe it's... He was making a level and it wasn't very good, so he's not very bright. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Terrible pun. I, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, I got the le the levels like lightning-y and stuff, but it's silly. Ow. Very stupid. Use rush. Whoops, rush coil. Here. Oh, or not there, apparently. There we go. Stay right there. Oh, come on, rush. Go stay there. Get a oh, nothing, nothing great. I'm going to try uh, a little bit more to use weapons than I usually do. Like in Mega Man 1, 2, and 3, I've said this a million times. I am a, like, I don't know. I'm all about conserving energy. Like, I'm terrible with it. I'm the type of person who will never use the elixirs in a Final Fantasy game. You know, you know the type of person. That's me with this. Like, oh, well, if I use Mega Man's weapons now, what if I need them later on the stage? Even though I've beaten this game a million times and I know when I don't need them. So I might as well start using them. Um, you can actually go to the right or down. I'm going to go down for now. Bring us to a uh, much harder route. Which of these things? The red ones fall. The green ones don't. So, these ones don't fall. Oh, that wasn't hard. I thought that was harder. A one-up and a friggin' um, Majigger. Oh, that's not good. Uh, E-Tank, that's what they're called. Woo! Ah, there we go. She's super careful, I guess. Whoa. Alright. I always loved that. It's like... Goodbye, boy. Just set him down, down straight down that hole. There we go. That was good enough. I finally got a chance to try out the energy can, um, energy drinks. The E-can energy drinks. Um, they have them at, I don't know if you can get them in, like, I guess it's America or, I don't know. I doubt they're imported from Japan. Uh, but they're at lo my local little, uh, retro game shop. And they're not very good. Um, they're not a very good drink. I like the Shoryuken, or the Dragon Punch as they call it. I like that one. Um, but I, I think it's cute that you can get things like that. Um, what would be a lot cuter would be if Capcom made a friggin' Mega Man game. I don't know how long it's been now, but a few years. Pretty sure Mega Man 10 is the last Mega Man game to come out. Though, um, I'm not sure when it's out, and it might already be out by the time this goes up, because uh, I'm filming this a lot earlier than I do a lot of my Let's Plays. Um, there's the Mega Man Legacy Collection coming out for the, um, ah, damn it. The 3DS, the Xbox One, and the PS4, and... 
Look, Capcom, I know you're trying here, but that's bullshit. A legacy collection that actually has less games on it than the friggin' anniversary collection did in 2000 friggin' like three or four? That's pathetic and not very cool. Um, but then again, it, it is only 15 bucks and it's digital. If it was physical, I'd probably like it a little bit more because I'm all about collecting physical copies of games. Um, but whatever, I mean, it's cool that at least they're playable. Uh, and 15 bucks is not a lot to spend on, like, six really good games. That's Mega Man 1 through 6, basically. But the Anniversary Collection had, uh, whoa, that's close. Had Mega Man 1 through 8, and two Japanese-only arcade games, which, uh, mind you, weren't great, but... It was cool to get all that, and this is just Mega Man 1 through 6. But I guess it was, like, supposed to be challenge dungeons and stuff, so I guess that's kind of cool. And maybe I'm just complaining about nothing. But whatever. Alright, there we go. Oh, I didn't know I was going to make that one. Uh, there we go. Doing alright now. There we go. I think that's the end of the stage anyways. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Let's get Rain Flush going. Um, Rain Flush is, makes Bright Man really easy. Bright Man will freeze you um, and pretty much guarantee a hit for himself at certain parts of his... When, when his health bar gets to certain areas. Um... He's not hard, but he hits really hard, when it, with his body especially. So I just like using Rain Flush each hour. Each Rain Flush does a certain amount of damage to him, and you, it hits him no matter what. Oh, and now I can't do anything. Come on, no. Am I going to be okay? Ow, whatever. I'd rather get hit by, ow, by his shots than his uh, body. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Even if he hits me. Oh, see how much damage that did? But he's dead now, so who cares? You're dead, bright man. And, uh... Bright Man's weapon is kind of another... Oh, I said Rain Flush was the first, like, all-screen weapon, but I guess, um... I guess Flash Man's Time Stopper in Mega Man 2 is the first thing, because it technically affects everything on screen. Um, and... Uh, Time Stopper, or Bright Stopper, Flash Stopper, um, is very similar. Um, except for the fact that you can actually shoot your regular bullets, unlike Time Stopper, so it's much better. Let's head on to Pharaoh Man. Pharaoh Man is a bitch without the flush or the time stop flash flag flash stopper um he's not easy i'll be honest so uh with the flash stopper he'll be way better i love this music oh i'm not gonna say that but most stages because mayman 4 is great music there we go ow i'm not doing well today there we go there we go oh damn it Woo! So right here, I think it's here, yeah, right here, instead of going down there, which is what you're supposed to do clearly, I'm just gonna do this instead, and keep going! This is also like the first Mega Man with like big secrets like this, um, like extra items or whatever. In Mega Man 2 and, well I guess Mega Man 1 had a secret item, but you, you still needed it to beat the game, so I wouldn't call that secret when it's necessary. There we go, we get the bee! Um, which is, I think, the balloon. Um, it's basically item number one for Mega Man 2. Uh, not super useful, but at least it's there. Bringing this back, um, if we had gone down the hole, it would have led us right here, so we didn't miss any of the level. But, uh, let's check out the balloon, shall we? Boink, there we go, and you just jump on it. That's all it is. It's good for certain situations, but not super great. So, I know I said I was gonna use the weapons more, but I'm not, I don't really have anything useful yet. So, ow, oh, damn it. Maybe the rain flush, but I think that might kill those things I'm standing on. I don't want to risk that. Whoop. I got those weird um, Batman or Batman bat things from Mega Man Two. There we go. So some sad news about Mega Man, at least to me, because I'm a gigantic nerd, and Mega Man Four reminds me of this. Um, I don't know if anyone out there actually reads it, but I'm, again, I'm a big kid, right? Um, Archie Comics. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I see. I could use the balloon to get out of there, but I was stupid. Um, Archie Comics actually publishes a Mega Man comic, and you know what? It's super great. It's really good. Um, it relies... Um, oh, not relies, but like it's, it, it has a lot of stuff about Mega Man. Um, it's super, super good. A lot of references and stuff, and it's... I don't know. I don't read a lot of comics, so I don't really have a lot to judge it on compared to a lot of what people are reading, but it's really good. Um, and they were about to start Mega Man 4... Um, but it was recently announced that there's going to be a hiatus on the series. Uh, I'm hoping by the time that this airs, that's been taken care of and they're continuing. But in my opinion, that probably means the, the, the comic's canceled. It must not have been profitable, which is such a crappy deal because it's so good. 
I really like it. And anyone out there who just likes Mega Man in general, I'm talking to Q Parker. Um, read the comics. They're so good. Um, again, they reference, like, a lot of Mega Man stuff. They've already done, like, Super Battle Rock Man, which is a Sega Saturn game that never came out here. Uh, and they actually did an arc on that. Like, it's so well done. Um, there was hints that they were going to make a Mega Man X comic, and they never did, and it's kind of a shame. Um, but check it out. It's it's still great. Why do I have Toad on? Let's get Bright Stop around there. I'm going to let uh, Pharaoh Man jump around for a second so you can see how kind of hard he is. He's not, like, impossible or anything, but he's not easy either, right? So... He just jumps around, throws these things at you, and then he charges up. I'm not going to avoid that. Yep. Jumps around, throws things at you. Like, he's not easy. But, if I just do this and then hammer the B button down with my amazing turbo finger, he just goes down like a chump. So, I'm just going to do that. Oof, this takes a lot out of my finger after a while. Alright, I'm going to lay, lay a little. There we go. This is fast enough for now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Dead. Bam. And... I'm sick, so in my opinion, he's watching all this. He can see it all happening. He's getting shot over and over and over again by Mega Man, and he can do nothing about it. That's what kind of sick thoughts go through my mind when I play Mega Man. Um, and that's enough for today. Three guys down. Was that three? Yeah, it was three guys down. Um, with that, I got the Pharaoh Shot. The Pharaoh Shot is really cool and has a fun glitch that I'm going to be abusing the crap out of a little later in the game. Um, it's very fun. And with that... We're going to continue on next time on Let's Play Mega Man 4 and also 5 and 6, I guess. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.